Hello, welcome back to the garage. I'm out here the same evening as the last video I just posted up that was the morning of today, if that makes sense. Anyhow, um, yes, more painting. don't need a special tool, you need a special tin. It's alive! Okay, just to give you an idea of how uh, the paint has gone on um, since uh, this morning, where it was very rough here with rust, it's actually smoothed up nicely there's a couple of little spots where the gun ended up catching on your glove and then dripping as it sprayed a couple of little runs here but I'm not gonna be too upset about it because there's gonna be all sorts of stuff in the way and you're not really gonna see it um, again I've got a couple of couple of runs over the back here somewhere but um, if you're the kind of person that's going to climb underneath my car and inspect my subframe for paint runs, I don't really care. Um, I'm just trying to make this look smooth, all one colour, and stop it from going rusty as quick as possible, as cheaply as possible, because I kind of want to get the car done as well like this, get it painted, and then I can bolt the subframe in, put the suspension on, drop it on the floor with the engine nail. That's the plan. Um, yeah so first coat was on today it's had three or four hours to dry currently got the heater sitting here warming this up it's swaying in the wind got a couple of uh, rather nasty looking friends coming out to join me with the heat so um yeah i'm going to uh take off the really ugly bits like the drips and stuff like that I'll leave the runs because I don't care and I'm gonna put another coat of paint on this so uh, yeah let's go okay so I'm gonna put in a bit of a disclaimer here I'm gonna say safety first um, earlier on today I was spraying out in the open didn't have a mask on there was a bit of a breeze around I was always upwind of where the paint was it didn't matter but in here I'm in a confined space and um, the stuff gets a bit nasty. Um, everyone's done a bit of spray painting in a garage and gone and picked the grey coloured or whatever colour bogey that you know the next couple of few days afterwards. It's not pleasant and it's not clever and it's not good for your lungs. So uh, on the way home today, Ooh, I picked one of these up. <laughs> so I'm going to be breathing a bit like Darth Vader in this. But yeah, get yourself a, a decent mask. It's always worth doing. This was only a few quid from Screwfix, so uh, yeah, get one and stay safe. Right, let's do this. Yeah, that's uh, unpleasant even with a mask on, so you know, yeah, let's let the air settle down a little bit. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a little bit hazy in there still. <sighs> okay, let's have a look at what we've got. That's gone on and smoothed out all the lumps and bumps beautifully. 
really pleased with how that's gone on. There's a couple of little runs in this section here, I and mean, if you get really close, but I'll be honest, you ain't gonna see that. So, uh, especially not once it's black as well. Um, there's a couple down in here, but again, the engine's gonna be in the way. Not gonna see it, hasn't gotta be perfect. I even managed on this one to get all inside here, which I'll be honest, that was an absolute pig to clean all that out. So, uh, yeah, really happy with how that's gone on. And um, yeah, and the sides here, really happy with how that all looks. Managed to get a nice amount of paint into all of the uh, crevices. I made sure I've sprayed paint down into these gaps here at downwards angle and straight angle. And I've gone into the sides each way on both of them. So, and this was also um, painted with uh, weld through primer before it went on as well so it has got a it's not just bare metal on the back edge it was a uh, painted edge and the whole inside of this was also um well through primer before it was done so um yeah fingers crossed that will now um prevent any further rust from happening to the subframe but also when i get the uh, the black paint on it should look good. It's, it's sort of touch dry. I mean, I've been sitting outside now in the garden catching some fresh air for uh, probably 20 minutes. And um, it's it's touch dry already. I mean, it's less nice time of year to be doing this. It's, it's a good 20 degrees even this evening. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice if I could get a coat of black paint on. But I think some of it's still going to be a bit too soft. But it does say uh, on the uh, packaging here. Um, if I can find the bit, yeah, hang on a second. This is the instructions two coats, 25 to 30 centimeters away. Well, you know, I wasn't, but whoever is, um, recoat two to three hours, spray in light, even strokes, yada 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 yada. Allow surface to harden completely before applying your chosen paint color. So, uh, I reckon that's me now for the next uh, few days. I'll have another crack at this at the weekend, I'll leave it hanging up here um just got to repack all the bikes and stuff into the garage and then uh yeah hopefully at the weekend i'll get another five minute video or so up of getting the color on the subframe thanks for watching and i uh, hope i haven't waffled too much for this one and i'll uh, i'll see you on the next one